Darren, my final question for you is in terms of networking, we know that uh, a lot of jobs are through referrals, through networking and building relationship. But again, for newcomers or immigrants, networking is a, a foreign language for them. And then some people say, but I need a job now. If I'm connected with Darren, why I cannot ask Darren, hey, Darren, can you help me find this job? Why I need to wait three, four months, have a rapport with Darren, engage with Darren's content, and then ask if there's an opportunity. Why I cannot do it from day one? So what are your thoughts about that? So people need to remember, so if, especially if you're trying to get into more of a high-level role, it's a lot of it is to mm -hmm. you've got to establish authority to to give them a reason to understand why you should even be deserving of that position. You've got to build credibility. OK, and this takes time. OK, and the next thing, the big one is trust. So if you're not building trust with these people, they're not likely to even consider you for a position. Now, the yes. problem we get like networking is very, very important and the reason being, when you apply for a job online, you've probably seen it yourself, Maha, where they've got three, four, five hundred applications for one job. Sometimes it's crazy. Like when I used to work at yes. AMS, we used to get like, sometimes we get like 80, 90 applications. It was very hard to then start to, you've got to filter through those and then you're going to pick the ones that are the best on paper. But if one of those applications yes. comes in and you're, they're always engaging in your DMs, they've built a relationship up, straight away, without even looking at the CV, they're already a, a, a potential preference candidate as, as, an, as an option. And then you've got the other ones that you're going to put through who've got mm -hmm. strong CVs. As long as their CV matches what you're looking for, you already know that this person is, is polite, yeah. they're decent, you know, they're, they're, they're knowledgeable, they're good at building relationships and they build the trust. That's really important for that part of it. Um, so networking is is vital um, and it does take time to build that trust. Now, can you get jobs by just instantly sending a CV in? Yes, you can. People do it all the time. But it's important to note mm -hmm. that if, especially on the level that you're going for, depending on the level that you're looking to play at, they've already got friends who are looking to get in that job, close friends. Yeah. So if they've got this random person sending a CV in and they've got a friend that they know, or they've, they've met through another friend who's looking for the job, the chances are if they had to choose between the two as a recruiter, they're going to choose the one that they already know. And mm -hmm. I know that's a biased, you know, an unconscious bias or it is just a bias or a preference, but that's why it's so important to build those relationships. And it's, it's important as well. If people are in a job now, and you're planning to move in three months, start setting them foundations now, like start building those relationships before you leave. You know, we see it quite a lot now with the um, the military. We see it a lot where the military don't do anything. Mm. They just leave. And then they're like, what do I do now? And then they're in a, in a, in a deep hole that they've got to try and pull themselves out of because they've done no preparation. Not, not everybody does that in the military. Quite a few yes. prepare. And the ones that prepare well, normally they come mm -hmm. out, they, they walk out the gates of a military base and the next day they start their job. They've got it ready, ready to go because they've, they've taken three, four, five months yeah. to build those relationships, make the applications, do the interview, you know, but that's all come down to networking. Yeah, I totally agree with you. It's a key. Uh, and I always tell my clients, keep networking. Even if you find a job, don't stop. And even the students I'm helping at the university, I tell them, the only thing you need to do while you're studying, building those relationships, putting those seeds, hopefully in the in, in the long run, uh, you'll get those referrals. Yeah, I think um, it, it's definitely important to do. And like you said, start building it even when you're in a job, like even if you've got a job, because what people don't don't take note of is that job could end at any point. Like they could make layoffs. The company could close down. Yes. You know, yes. Anything can happen at that point. Then at that point, then if you haven't built a network of people that you can reach out to, you've got from day, the day you, you lose that job, you've now got three three or four months again yeah. to try and build those relationships where you could have done it for the, la the last year. You know, and more opportunities come as well, don't they? You, know, you might be in a job. You're not going to lose the job. But another person that you're speaking to says, oh, by the way, this job just come up. Mm -hmm. They're offering 10K a year more than what you're getting paid for a similar job. Would you be interested? Oh, yeah, I'm going to walk to that job. You know, and that's where people increase their salaries quite fast because they've got the um, the strategy down of job hopping. 
I know it doesn't look good on a CV, but when you, yes. you've got a strong, strong work history, the job hopping doesn't matter too much. If you're trying to get to the next salary, you typically do a year, get experience. There's a bigger salary, do a year, then do another year here. And with that, your your salary could, you know, you could double your salary in, in space of two or three years. Those are great tips, Darren. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. Very practical tips. So for the audience, if you, have, if you haven't watched any of it, you can go back and watch the whole interviews I posted on a daily basis. Uh, and again, tune in next time for another great guest I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Darren, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Bye.